Tonight, APD officer Lou Golson, who was shot during a DWI stop 10 days ago, is doing much better. In fact, APD says he'll likely head home soon. Meanwhile, the two deputies who arrested the man accused of shooting Golson are being recognized for their work. Erica Zuko talked to them today. Erica. Yeah, both deputies say they're glad they were able to arrest him peacefully, but that they count themselves as part of thousands of officers on the lookout. Police say 36 year old Christopher Cook is the man who shot 31 year APD veteran Lou Golson, and that Deputy Wesley Buster and Deputy Brayson Deering are the ones who caught him. Kind of stumbled into our lap. Um, I was just more excited to call. I graduated with Lou Golson's son, so I was more excited to call him and tell him that I got the guy who shot his dad. Buster and Deering say they were working graveyard and saw a man staggering around near Edith and Montagna. Especially because it's, so, it's been so cold out lately that we just want to. You know, make sure and make sure that they're okay and that they have somewhere to go. They wanted to help the man find shelter, then recognized him as the suspect there was a manhunt for, checked the photo to be sure, and cuffed him. We recognized his nose and that it could possibly be him, and Deputy Deering placed him in custody. Deering says he called Golson's son right afterwards, and he and Buster told him the news. He, he was just very grateful and, and excited to tell his dad that. The guy is off the street and can't hurt another officer. And after the county commission recognized Buster and Deering, everyone at the meeting gave them a standing ovation. Their families were also recognized. Back to you. Good for them.